co-driver Gareth Roberts was killed on this stretch of the Italian leg of the Intercontinental Rally Challenge in June. The 24-year-old from Carmarthen came from a family of rally drivers. In the last few years, he and his partner Craig Breen had made a meteoric rise in the sport. The inquest heard that Gareth Roberts was a very promising young rally driver who had just turned professional and was one step away from racing at top world-class level. His father described him as an inspiration to others who was living his dream and accepted the risks of doing what he loved. After the hearing today, Michael Roberts, a former Welsh rally champion himself, described the crash as a freak accident and said no one was to blame. I've seen Gareth and Craig come out of horrendous crashes and there's not a mark on none of them. It's just one of those things that had happened at that present time and that's the hardest thing to accept. I've seen him come out of vehicles that's ten times worse condition than what it was and I think it was time and that might be the wrong thing to say but it's nothing to do with the sport and he would never, he would never change that. The Peugeot 207 Breen and Roberts were in, began understeering on a fast corner and hit a roadside barrier. Gareth Roberts died when bars from the barrier came away. The inquest returned a verdict of accidental death. Seen here racing in Wales, Gareth Roberts has left behind a legacy. His brother David continues to compete as a co-driver and the Wales Rally GB have renamed a trophy after him, awarded to the highest placed all Welsh crew.